Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Agent Breakdown series that we're doing here on the channel. I'm Hefeistrov, and today we're going to be covering the sassiest boy in the game, Brimstone. And you're going to see why I said that here, just when he does his little pose. Oh yeah, it looks real good. So, we're going to go over Brimstone today. We're going to cover some of his abilities. I'm, I'm going to show dog. you... <laughs> I'll show him just how many tricks I know. I'm going to show you some of the, the smaller things that I've noticed people may not know about Brimstone and try and help you guys improve your Brimstone gameplay if you're wanting to. If any of you got a problem with me, take it out on my double. Alrighty, so Brimstone is a pretty unique character in that he is the one that has the most defining smokes in the game because of the way that he gets to deploy them. Um, he also has his Molly ability, which is his Q called Incendiary for 300 creds. I'll grab that this round. Then he has a Steam be Beacon with up to two charges, which is his C ability. And that his C and his E abilities both cost 100. Now, notably, his signature ability is his E, his smoke screen. Or sorry, his sky smoke. And his signature ability works a little bit differently than a lot of the other ones in the game. Notably, Brimstone's signature ability will, instead of recharging with a time limit or recharging with, you know, eliminations or plants and defuses, Brimstone recharges his E ability whenever another round starts. So you'll notice that I have two right now. And I'm going to not use one this round so that you can see that I'll fill back up to three uh, when we go into the next round. So Brimstone's first ability is his Stim Beacon. You pull out this, you pull out the Stim Beacon, and it's a projectile that you get to throw. Stim Beacon here. So you'll see that. Now you can see the arrows on the side of my screen. You can also see, whenever an enemy steps into it as well, they also get the arrows. That is because Stim Beacon is a universal buff that increases your attack, your fire rate. I was gonna say attack speed. Stim Beacon sort of down. attack speed, I guess. Yeah, so it's. A, it's much faster, much, fa much faster. Than it Step out real quick. Go ahead and let the decay, the thing decay off, and I'll show you what it looks like normally. A little bit slower. Now, Stim Beacon is what, probably Brimstone's weakest ability that he has, only because it does affect the other team as well, and that can that can play a really large role on. Deciding team fights, especially if you put it on a corner where the angles that are covered by that corner Ten are accessible left. to both to both teams. Spike so this is a this area of the map is a really good example of where you could improperly place a stim beacon and end up losing your team to fight and i'll go ahead and show you that in a second let me go ahead and move my second player up into hookah so all right if this player is looking down here on us and i've decided to put my stim beacon somewhere here just in order to have somebody cover this angle well anyone looking down on hookah is going to go ahead and get this stim beacon as well because it's just an area of effect thing i don't need a gun all right, next we're going to go ahead and look at his um, incendiary ability, That's which is his way. molly. And then if you look at the bottom again, you can see I got my third charge of the sky smoke, even though I only bought two in the first round. Again, that is Brimstone's signature ability. He gets just one charge every round. And I'll go ahead and give you an example of a really good way to de deploy smokes as Brimstone as well. So when you're looking at Brimstone's E ability, which is what I have up right here, you can see that you have... You have a targeting reticle. Safety's now, off. you can use up to as many charges as you have. For example, I have three E charges. I can deploy three if I want. Or I can just deploy one or two. And so what you can do is, let's say you know somebody's going to be peeking into showers. Smoke's down. Deploy that smoke there. You can see it on the mini-map. And it's deployed right where I, right where I put it. Now, something that I did want to point out, you saw how I was lining the smokes up before the round even started. A lot of experienced Brimstone players will, before the round starts, line up their smokes where they want them to be deployed. And then as soon as the round starts, they go ahead and deploy right away. It will not let you deploy until the round has started. Go ahead and get plant real quick so I can show you guys his ultimate. Planted. 
and then I'm gonna move my secondary, my second player over here as well. Now Brimstone's ultimate is very similar to his smoke and how it, how it deploys. So let me show you his incendiary ability, which is his molly. His molly is a projectile that you shoot as well. It bounces off of crates, off of walls, anything until it settles on the ground. And it'll create a pool. Molly, much like that. So you can see, I didn't quite land it on him, That's but it's very quick to kill. I mean, that was I just stepped him into it. It was about a second and a half at most. That brimstone's a stubborn Got ass. Sky smoke. <laughs> Reminds me of someone. I'll go ahead and show you how you can line them up before the round starts, and then I'll show you. Anyone want to get the ultimate. spike? No, I do not. All right. So using Brimstone's E ability here, you can see how I lined them up before the round has even started. Now we got about 10 seconds before the round actually does start, before I can actually deploy it. You know what to do. Smoke Just down. Said not available during buy phase. That's because I was spamming my right click button to try and, you know, deploy it beforehand. It won't let you do that. Which is good, because you don't want to waste your smokes in biphase on, on accident. Now, this is probably not a great smoke location if you are actually playing the game, because it cuts off your vision into the site. But it does clear it up so that you can get in if if need be. All right, so this is Brimstone's ultimate. You can see the indicator is very similar to his E. This is his smoke ability. This is his E. Area is a lot bigger on Brimstone's ultimate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it down on my, my little assistant that I got over here. And I'm going to show you just how crazy quick the time to kill is on it. So deploying at, I'll deploy at 55. Open up the sky! So it's got about a second and a half wind up, but it kills in about a second. Brimstone's ultimate is insanely quick to, what do they think quick this to is? kill. Backyard and the area scrimmage? that it covers is extremely large. Now, notably, one of the best things about Brimstone is that his ultimate is only a six charge ultimate. So he can have his ultimate up about every two rounds, especially if you're getting a lot of elims with his, or if you're getting a lot of eliminations in plants. It's pretty easy to go, even if you're dying, let's say you die every round for two rounds. That's getting you two ultimate charges. If you happen to snag two ultimate, uh, ultimate points, that's two. If you happen to trade one for one for your kill, you know, bare minimum, getting ultimate point, trading one for one, you're going to have Brimstone ultimate every two rounds, which is extremely good, especially because of how th the way you can deploy it. So what I mean by the way you can deploy it is if you are stuck behind this box, for example, but you know someone's either sitting in lamps sitting in showers or sitting somewhere in this little elbow area leading back to their spawn. Heck, even if you look right here, I can lock on the smoke into heaven because the indicator is just far enough onto or in my little wrist thing. I can just barely see heaven. And even though the, the top of the circle is going over it, it's still going to deploy down. where I want it to because I had enough access to it. So the area in which his ultimate can cover from his location is extremely large and very beneficial for clearing out areas. It's, it's somewhat of a siege tool. Smoke if you needed to, you know, cut off a few entrances, you could just go ahead and lay down the ultimate right away. You can clear out an area really easily. One of the things that I like to do the most 30 seconds with, left. Uh, Brimstone ult is get the plant down. I'll show you guys next round. I'm going to go ahead and snag this kill real quick so I can Not so tough after all. Show you the ultimate. Now, what I mean, or what I'm talking about with what I'm going to show you Let's is ruin their when day. you deploy Brimstone's, Brimstone's ultimate, you don't get vision of where you're deploying it unless you already have, have vision of that area for some reason. You know, if you have an ally that's looking down at the area, giving you vision on the mini-map. If you have an ability that's hitting an enemy and giving you vision of them on the mini map, that's gonna have the exact same vision that Brimstone's gonna get. Watch and learn. But you can also use things like audio cues to decide when to ultimate. And what I mean by audio cues is the spike diffuse noise. Everyone should be pretty familiar with. Grab that. Walk through. Grab this one as well. Yes, yeah, so the spike diffusing, the spike diffuse noise is very familiar to a lot of Valorant players. 
If it's not familiar to you, you should go ahead and get used to it so that you know what I'm talking about. I'll show it to you here in just a second. I'm going to position my second player in place so I can show you what I mean. All right. Now, let me go get plant. So you're going to see this is going to give me ultimate. I'm going to put this right out in the open just for the demonstration. So now, typically, most characters have to keep an eye on Spike or, you know, hide behind cover. Wait for the opponent to walk out and start the defuse. You can hear that. That's the defuse. Now, I canceled it, just so you know. But let's say I'll wait till it's getting a little bit closer, too. Brimstone has the ability to... I believe you can get it from back here. Yeah, look how wide this, this area is. It's actually bigger than it smokes now that I'm looking at it. Brimstone can listen for the diffuse noise, hear that it's going Open off, and go ahead and kill his opponent from an angle they would not have expected whatsoever. I mean, think about how far away I am from A right now, and I was still able to, able to completely protect the spike just by being able to hear the noises. And that's that's just some 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 of the levels of thinking that you need to do. Some sometimes I don't even do them all the way, but it's just all all the tools available to you and all the things that Brimstone can help you exploit. All the passages he can block. You know he can block his passages with his smokes, with his with his molly, his incendiary here. He has so much maneuverability to get your team in and out of position and to protect areas from so far away. He's a great asset to any team, and I really think Got that spike. he's considered one of the easier characters in the game and i can see i can see why because his abilities are fairly straightforward except for his steam stem beacon which is a little confusing but all of his abilities are so powerful and they're fair you know they're fairly cheap if you don't if you don't like the stem beacon because it's confusing or you think it's going to be benefiting the other team you don't even have to really touch it you're going to get an e-charge every round they only cost 100 otherwise and his incendiary costs 300 which is a little pricey but also not something you need to get if you don't think you're using it effectively so if you just want to be a smoke and ultimate brimstone player because you're confident in your gunplay you're more than welcome to do that because you're actually going to thrive very well just by having that sort of gameplay all right well that's it for the brimstone agent breakdown i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any questions go ahead and leave a comment down below and i'll get back to you like and subscribe as well please and i hope you guys have a great day thanks for tuning in